Hi everybody, my name is Genevieve and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful hanging fish mobile. If we just have a little closer look at the detail, the focus on the different fish is playing with patterns and different textures. So the first fish here, beautiful, sparkly, fantastical for mana fish, glitter and little beads. The larger fish, I'm going to show you using watercolours and oil pastels, how you get this lovely technique. And then finally, we're going to do a little bit of easy printing. So we're just going to have a look now at the basic materials that we need to make our lovely fish mobile. So the first thing will be some cardboard, some drawing paper, a pencil to draw your fish shapes with, some scissors to cut them out. We also have some different paint brushes and then we're going to use some basic art materials. So the, for the first fish I'm going to use a technique with oil pastels some watercolours and then the second fish we have some lovely glitter and sparkly sequins we have some poster paint or acrylic paint and then some objects that have circular shapes at the top that we're going to use for printing our patterns so we're going to have a look at various fish shapes that we could use in our mobile as you can see I have drawn a long fish here, but you can see that you can get fish come in all different shapes and sizes. So let's start by showing you how I drew this long shaped fish. So I'm going to start off with my pencil and I'm going to make like an oval shape. It doesn't have to be exact because these are fantastical fish. And then I'm going to bring my shape to meet up here. And then finally I'm going to give it a fin. I'm going to mark where the eye is, the head, and then I'm going to draw some scales. But as I said, you can draw your own shape and your own size because it's all about pattern making and having fun. Great. So once you've drawn your fish shape, then we're just going to cut it out. So I'm going to show you the first technique that I use to make the large fish. This is a really lovely simple technique and it's using the oil pastels and the watercolours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my oil pastels to make marks and patterns on the fish shape. Now you might think it's strange but I'm going to use white first. You can't really see the white as I'm doing it now but when I put the watercolours on top you will be able to see the effects that I'm making. So I've just started off with a little bit of white to make patterns. Then I'm going to choose my colours, so purple, nice bright purple, to make my marks. pastels to make my basic shapes and marks. This is all just about fun as I said and mark making. Then I'm going to use my watercolour paints to paint in and colour over the top. So I'm going to get some maybe dark red. So I'm just dipping my brush in the watercolour paint. Now remember we used that white wax oil paint. If I start painting over it you can start to see 
where the white shows through and it just creates a nice texture. And maybe I'll blend in a bit of yellow so we can mix the colours together. I've made the paint quite watery. But the reason why this is happening is because oil and water don't mix. So the oil pastel will always stay on the top and you won't lose the colour or the vibrancy. It's lovely. fish is the printing okay so for this you will need some poster paints or acrylic or whatever paint that you might have at home in your craft box and I've chosen these nice kind of warm colors I've got this bubble wrap and that is going to create all these lovely little dots and my theme is circles so a spool of cotton as well and then as I said before the pen lid so the first thing I'm going to do is paint the bubble wrap. So I start off with a bit of yellow, I'll just hold it in my hand, and just, you want to just get the top of the bubbles, not the whole thing, because you would just want the circle. So you can see how already they are starting to show up. And rather than all yellow, I'm going to take a little bit of orange now, and add a little bit to the yellow, and then go down the orange and then finally maybe add a bit of red so it's almost like a sunset so I'm not washing my brush because the colours are all the same and then just painting on so you're just lightly going over the top and getting the, the bubbles covered and then this is paper just drawing paper and just going to press it down. So I'm going to start here and this will be good fun and just press it with your fingers. This is how you do printing and then I'm going to lift it up and that looks great. So now I'll just carry on, go along the edge here and some spaces. And again, it's just about having fun. So I'll just do the bubble wrap on that one. And then I get my other objects. So this is a spool of cotton. It's got all these different. So I'll do it in red. So I'm going to dip it into the red. Make sure it's not too much on it. And maybe do this through the eye. Press it down. Okay. We can make it a bit heavier. And then I'm just going to do random patterns and circles on the tail. And now I'll use the pen lid. Just yellow. And go. 
So you're just overlapping them. And get a bit of orange in there as well. But this is not just the only process because we're going to have a bit of fun and we're going to splatter some splats of paint on it with our watercolours. It's quite thick there, so we'll probably have to try that with a hairdryer. Okay, so you're just making random patterns with any objects that you can find. But the pen is quite handy, everybody has one of those. Okay, so what we'll do, so we're going to use a hairdryer, just it's a quick and easy way of drying things off. But what you need to be careful about is that you don't have light things on the table that are going to blow off. And make sure your hands are clean. This is my old hair dryer, and not to be getting paint over Mummy's food hair dryer. <laughs> same colours. So I think I'll start with red. So make sure it's quite a little bit of watery paint on there. And I'm going to use this brush so I can tap against it. So I'm just going to tap and there's some more scrapes on. Maybe get a different colour now. Just to create lots of texture. It's not so flat. Beautifully sparkly, glittery fish. Everybody loves a bit of glitter. So as you see, I put down another piece of paper. Uh, so this will just catch all the glitter so we can lift it up then and get rid of it or put it in the pot. So we'll not paint this one, we'll just leave it white. But what you're going to do is use your PVA glue and paint on where you want the glitter. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to do silver first. So I'm going to give them a silver head. So I'm going to not put glue on the eye and just put the glue all over the area that I want to be silver. Like that. And I think I'll get the silver tail. You can add more glitter on top later if you want as well. So just put my brush down and I'm going to get my glitter shaker. Sprinkle the oil on the glitter. Be quite liberal with it. And you can go over the eye and you don't have to worry about it because we know there's no glue on there so it won't stick. Here again on his tail. And then just
have great fun making your Fermanagh fish mobile. I have really enjoyed showing you the processes of how to make it.